Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final match here. Championship, what is this, Monday? Is it Sunday, what day is this? They all merge. It's Saturday, they, championship. They Saturday. all merge together. Two weeks later, here we are, Saturday. Gary Mazarov, Dean Bear, boys 18 and under. Finals, Bolivia taking on Costa Rica. Starting off on the I formation already. <laughs> Not new to Team Costa Rica. No. And here you see, in, uh, no, on, on, a, on a serious note, you got Nestor Centeno from Bolivia and uh, jo Joel Acha, Acha from Bolivia. They are the number three seeds. They're taking on five, the number five seed, which is Andres Metamoros and Felipe Guillen. We saw them beat um, Team Chile last night in an epic 11-1 tiebreaker. And we're up for a good one here. Acha Guillen. Yeah, he's on the... The left side, that's him shooting the ball now. Looks like they just switched. Nestor uh, Centennial is on the right right now, but here's a big setup for Acha. Good get right there. Dean Baer joining me is Gary Mazarov. Gary, uno mas, this is the last one. El ultimo here in Guatemala. Great action. Yeah. Long, we're gonna, long. We're gonna see some rally. You're gonna see because well, I'm not sure, you know, if the Bolivians can really, really kill the ball in a rally. I think, you know, if they were watching some of the tape from the Chile match last night, you know, uh, Chile versus Costa Rica, I think maybe their takeaways is just play straight. Just play straight. Now that hit over the dotted line. The solid red line actually hit the side wall over there there's a little lip so it stayed in the court but it was a uh, about 36 feet high that was out of play and i think that's uh that should be point number one for bolivia yeah it will it is so the takeaways are like i said gary i think their takeaway has to be just play play regular We shall see. Gold medal implications. And that's point two. Costa Rica leading 2-0. We're not sure how, but uh, Costa Rica came out on top yesterday. Great match. 11-1 over uh, Chile in that tie break. They were dominated for much of the, all the first game and part of the second game. Side out. Cero dos. Christian Langoria, head ref, joined by two Paisans, Ivan Valdez and Jaime Martel as lines persons. Ball live. Guillen. Dean, I'm impressed with Guillen on the left side. He's a smart player, he's athletic, and he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, no, he's extremely intelligent. I think that's the, po the most positive thing about his game is that uh, he's very cerebral, very Andre Perea-like, you know, cerebral. Thinks about what has to happen. Yeah. And when Metamoris can kill it, you just take the shot right there. So that's still now 2-0, side out, no points scored by the Bolivians. Good serve, jammed in the middle. That was Nestor Zenteno. Same serve. Good save. Another good save. Set up. Guillen. Contact. Two bounces. I think that's a half out. Oh, replay? Okay. 
Ball up, replay, first serve. Matamoros comes back with that jam. Good serve so far. Skipped in. We saw in the uh, the previous match, the ladies, you know, when, when one player on a team tries to do much, too much, or needs to do too much, sometimes in a high level, you know, match, a gold medal match, it's not gonna work in your favor. So you gotta just play. Yeah, it came back to haunt Team Bolivia and Manessis and her partner. That was VSO. Yeah. Great start for Team uh, Costa Rica here, Dean. Four zip. Great serve. Nobody up front to cover. Yeah, I mean, you have to say, when, when we talk about um, coaches, the Costa Rican coaches, they definitely have their players prepared. Um, during the, uh, the last two matches we had, they were on the court with these two guys talking, you know, again, preparing for this moment. And you know what, all that does is not only gives them the resources, but it may also settle some nerves down. And where the Bolivians, you know, they have a coach that is coaching the team, but I don't know if it's their coach. So, yeah. you know, I can tell you this, from speaking to some of the other kids from Bolivia, they said they're gonna be very, very nervous. And I think that's the biggest mistake that they need, to, that, they're, that they're gonna make today, is the nerves. They need to just relax and play racquetball. So the IRF scoreboard is momentarily down. We think it's 4-0 Costa Rica ahead of Bolivia here in game one. Guillen. Acha. Nice shot. See, intelligence right there. Nice little pinch. They had the blasts going on, and he just took a little something off it. Almost hit him with his backswing there, Gary. You mm -hmm. saw that? Yes. Guillen. See if he gives him a visual hinder there. I think he's gonna repito, say repito. Yeah, he had that. Oh, they're gonna appeal it. It's likely to be uh, a loss of an appeal here. It would be very tough for them to overturn that. Uh, Jaime Martel, who's on that left side, he has the best angle. So I'm interested to see his call there. Disagreed. Call stands. One up, one down. Yeah, and again, Jaime Martel, he's got that exact line, and in his opinion, there was no visual hinder, it was a good pass. Oh, almost got to the front wall, that's a point number five. 5-0, Costa Rica. Just what the Jamelos, the coaches staff of Costa Rica have ordered. Guillen, coming back with that patented drive Z. Cambio, switch it up. At 0-5, Bolivia yet to score a point. Acha, serving to the I formation. Yeah, and again, don't worry where to serve it. You don't want to constantly serve it in there, but I would be jamming a little bit. I would, I would be serving into that line. Make them converge. Good pickup. Good cover. Wrap around. Wow, what a shot by Acha. You know what he said right there? I gotcha. <laughs> Acha. <laughs> 
Playing on words the whole two weeks here, Dean. Congratulations. Second serve. One five. Ian. Second server. I think it's gonna be a question. He doesn't think it made the front wall and Bolivia's saying it did. Disagree, disagree, call stands. Now would that be a point? Because it was irretrievable? It's up to the ref to determine. I didn't I don't know what he said. But uh, I believe it's a replay. We'll check the scoreboard when it's reactivated momentarily. Guillen left side. Centeno. Matamoros. Good hands by Costa Rican player. He's a retriever, Gary. He is. Winner right side by Zenteno, Bolivia. We think the score is 2-5. Second serve. Confirmed from Valdez who's keeping score. Replay it. Yeah, I mean, he jumped about three feet high. But if you know uh, Metamoros, you know, he hits the ball high because yeah. his goal is to just get it to the front wall. So it's 2 5 in game one. Si repite. Back to the I formation, first serve. Acha. Ball down. Good shot right there. Point again. So Bolivia, Dean, getting on track here. 3-5 on our IRF scoreboard. Want to remind everyone that Gearbox is the official ball of the IRF. Visit them online, www.gearboxsports.com. Set up. Good retrieving. Centennial. Could get again. Good feet. Point, kill shot. Punto. Bolivia, four. Untracked, Bolivia, game one. Acha left side, drive serve. Continues drive it. Yeah, you have to. And then every now and then he can throw a Z over. Because from the I formation, that's going to be difficult. Set up. Winner. Winner. Absolutely, Gary. So are they going to wait till 7 to call a timeout, Dean? Not Costa Rica? Probably. <laughs> that's what they It's been their MO for the week. Doesn't come out of the wall. 6-5 now, Bolivia has a lead. I just can't see an advantage here. Matamoros has a lot of skills. Let, she let him play. There's another point. Bolivia's got their confidence. Those nerves are gone. 7-5. There it is, the seven point timeout. Told you, seven five, Bolivia's in the lead. We'll be back right here on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best.
but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. We're back live, folks. Championship court here in Guatemala, 32nd edition World Junior Racquetball here in Guatemala City, the capital. Team Bolivia, seven, Costa Rica, five. This is the last match of the tournament. Boys 18 final for the gold. Bolivia was down 0-5, they now own a 7-5 lead. Acha on the left. Centeno on the right. Guillen up front for Costa Rica and Matamoros against the back wall. Now they stagger. Ball live. He held up, so that safety hold up. Safety. Well, it is a safety hold up, and then he awarded him a point, I believe. So, folks, you first stop play. Safety first. Eight five. Stop play, gather your thoughts. Goria did and awarded a point to Bolivia. Set up again for fail. Yeah, he has to hit the reverse pinch from that side, Gary. That's going to be the most effective shot. Mm -hmm. I think if Bolivia really starts working the reverse pinch, I don't think that Costa Rica is going to be able to answer that. Two shots, reverse pinch, wide angle passes. Fortunately for Costa Rica, he floored that ball. So it's second server. Zenteno. Guillen. Got a rally here. Uh, Skipped in, point Bolivia. Unforced error by Matamoros. So from a 5-0 lead to a 9-5 down that's a nine point run by Bolivia we'll see how the over under goes here winner nothing you could do about that doubled up at 10 5 12 is the second number for the Costa Rican timeout that's that's where they've been this week I'm writing that down Dean Left up. Good save, good rally, set up. The end. Oh, that hit him. That's a point, 11. That's a tough break. That happens when you're trying to get out of the way from your partner rather than hit the ball yourself. I mean, we saw that in, with the Bolivian girls yes. before. So uh, we're one shy of the Time 12. Time out at 11. <laughs> we'll take, they'll take a break. We will too. We'll be back in the International Racquetball Federation.
The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. We're back, folks. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff, Uno Mas. This is the last one. Gary, game one, Costa Rica went out to a 5-0 lead, and we got an 11-point run by Bolivia. And counting. Good save by Nestor. Two bounces. Yen puts it down. So coming in to serve, Yen and Matamoros asking for another official time to mop up the floor. Thank everybody involved with this event, the local organizing committee, International Racquetball Federation, the volunteers, everybody, this broadcasting team. And thank you folks for tuning in to all of our broadcasts. And you, Gary. We gotta thank you. Well, it's part of the broadcasting team. Thank you, buddy. But you're the famous one. Oh. The Mazaroff. Yeah. We, we need to send a, a really big special thanks to the king from Chile, Pablo Fahe. Pablo. This doesn't happen Fahe. without him. You don't see no, nothing no, without no, him. No, 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 no. Team Chile and Team Lebanon racquetball. It's a, wow. It's, 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 it, it's, it's a great equation. Here we go, Matamoros. Ooh. Segundo servicio. See, you can't pinch when they're standing right there. Mistake, Bolivia, 6-11. You, you can't throw the pinch in, Gary. They're both standing in the service box. You better tell Tapia. Hand out. Hand out. Voidable hinder, folks. Second man serving. Again, first. Meta is hold up. Yen drives Z, that's his best serve. Another boy to Bohinder. Cambio, it's another one. You know, again, Gary, that comes down to court position. Indeed. When you're constantly moving on, they're gonna, this is gonna call stand. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that was textbook. Um, exactly. You're running away from the ball. You know, one's running one way. It's just confusion of court awareness right there. So Costa Rica has one available appeal, Dean, in this game. Yeah, they used two. You gotta be smart when you use your appeals. Well, I mean, they have the coaching staff there. Well, and that might be calls they were getting in other matches. Could be. So they'll play that one again. Si repite. Goes down the middle that time. Short. Listen, they don't need to be cute with the serve. If the guy on the left drive serves, if Acha drive serves, then the guy on the right can just lob serve that side. Just lob serve the backhand, it's fine. 
That's a skip shot. Let's see if, let's see if oh, they no, wasted. They called that a, they didn't, yep, 12. Yeah. Acha serving. This is the first man serving. And that's a great crack serve right there. 13 6. There's nothing Costa Rica can do right now. They can't. They have no timeouts. They got one more appeal. Not that big of a deal. But it's very tough playing. There's, he's not serving to the left. There's no need for him to, to stand center court. He, he could be out waiting for the ball right on the side. Second serve. Nice kill shot by Guillen. He's smooth. Nice player. Acha, Guillen. No, his partner took it. Yep. Cost, it cost him. Yep. And, and the reason it cost him is because Guillen was a little bit over too far because he thought he was going to take the shot, and then when it went cross court, he was not there. Game point number one, and here it comes. Set up off the back wall. Acha with the kill shot. Game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen, 15-6. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the start of game two right here on the International Racquetball Federation. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a lot of Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Six. Oh, welcome back, folks. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff, men's 18 doubles. This is the final match of the event. No other matches go on while this match and the ladies went on. All the other matches are over. Medals will be given out. Costa Rica is on the court here. Olivia's receiving. He hit his shoe. Cedar Pite, Costa Rica will serve this game. Bolivia served game one, 15-6 went to the Bolivians. And now we're in game two. Jam. There's a setup, Acha. Right at him. See, he's not shooting down the line, there's no need. He knows where uh, Metamoris is gonna be. And that's where he's hitting the ball, straight at him. And that's very, very intelligent. Oh my. That's a great drive serve. Again, there's no, and here you go. Not, they're not doing the eye formation. 
because of that. That's like in baseball when the shift is on. Absolutely. You have the tools, hit the ball through the infield. That was a great serve, that first. Okay, high lob. Yeah, and they're going to get a setup off the back wall. Oh, no. Takes it. And just missed it was Felipe Guillen. And 2-0 Bolivia in the lead. Short. Set up off the back wall for Hector. Down the line. Third time, it's a charm, yeah. pinch right corner. And again, Guillen's gotta stay back. He can't, re when Metamorph Metamorphos is shooting against the glass and, and the big setup comes, Felipe has to come in and cover the pinch, has to. But he's staying back because he's gotta cover the back of the court. So there's the mistake. Set up. Set up now, Acha with the forehand. Right to the middle of the court, what a great shot. Front wall, side wall. Guillen was going towards the wall. The ball went right to Metamoris. No, no answer lead. thus far, Dean. No. This might be tough. Jumps up, grabs it. Behind the back, ceiling ball. Metamoris skipped in that ceiling ball. Point number five. Five zero on our IRF scoreboard. Want to send a special thanks to Court Wars. Make sure you get your pay-per-view ticket and watch Court Wars presented by Williams Accounting. As well as a huge thank you from, look at that. Nice little shot there. Plus, thank you to Zurich Foundation and a special thank you to Planet the Racquetball for helping out the broadcast team here. We really appreciate it. Make sure you check them out. Pleasantries are over. Only thing left here, Gary, is racquetball. And look at that little control swing by um, Acha. Yo Yoel Acha. Yoel Acha. Team Bolivia. Set up again, Hector. Behind the back again. This might be tough. He goes up. Set up, Acha. Down the line, he ends there. Good save. Metamoris taking this off the back wall. Nice, you see, there you go. Let him take that ball off the back wall and stay in position. And it was very nice. 0-6, game two, folks, Costa for the gold. Costa Rica in the red and blue shorts, white shirts, they're up top in the front serving. Metamoris is the one serving. Felipe Guillen is on the left. In the back, Hector, no, I'm sorry, Nestor Centeno and Joel Acha is on the left. Skipped oh in. It was a good second serve by Matamoros. He had a little bit off balance there, tried to do too much. Let's see if they can get on the board. Foot fault, front line, also known as the Service line. Second serve. Nick. It's a great serve. But here comes the setup for Acha. Around the world. Forehand. Ball down. Felipe for a winner. Point number one for Costa Rica. I think that's a equipment timeout, he has a broken string. He's got 30 seconds to get into that bag, grab a, another racket, and there he goes. Actually, it's pretty funny, Gary. Let's see if this makes a difference. It's actually a different racket. He's got two different weights on this gearbox racket. He's got the blue one that he was just using, and this one is the yellow one. I think, it, uh, I think the, the weight's off a little bit. We'll see. Safety hold up. First serve, Guillen. Costa Rica, boys 18. Short.
Big setup. Ots is going to take this one. Another big save. Acha stepping up. Set up. Nice. Soft. You, you've seen that a couple of times. Six one game two. Team Bolivia. Boys eighteen. Back up top, Zenteno, Matamoros, set up, wasn't ready for it. Point seven one. So no change in score seven one with the handout. High Z lob. Ian has to go over and take that one. Good save. Set up, Acha, straight in. He's gonna have a plum right here. What he called? Siete repite. Uno. Does that say repite? Gotcha. First serve. No. It's point. Timeout time. Eight one. They're a point behind. Timeout. Costa Rica. We'll take a break. Be right back on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. We're back, folks. Dean Bear, Gary Mazaroff. Gary, this is it. The end of a... 10, Mo 11 days. No, it was a... I don't know. We started broadcasting on that Thursday night. The 28th, I think. Yeah, we started on the yeah. Thursday night. Yeah, because we didn't broadcast the round robin, uh, the pool play for the adults. We started with the medal play, and it was a doubles match at night that we started. Correct. Um, after we got everything all set up. So it's been how many days, Gary? We started that Thursday. We started Thursday. Two, three. Arithmetic. Ten days. Simple. Ten days, Ten of days of broadcasting. Just me and you. With a little Alexis help. Skip a, in. A little Pablo well, help. Pablo help. What did he do? One match broadcasting? Please. Well. That, that deserves an honorable it's, mention. It's not always power in numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, there's four guys on the court. <laughs> Great pass, but a good pickup by Acha. Now... Nestor shoots one around the world. Skipped it in. Side out. It's 1-9. Costa Rica looking to make a charge. It's tough to roll the ball out from 41 feet, Dean. 41. <laughs> if anyone can do it, it's Acha. Matamoros. Jam serve. Back to yeah, the Yeah, I don't think you're going to really catch these two Bolivians like off guard. And, and I definitely want to see and shoot rather than push that ball. Here's Nestor off the back wall, shoots it down the line. Metamoris is there. Great shot down the line by Matamoris. 
Point number two here in game two. We'll have an official time to mop up the floor. Or something like that. We'll stay here. Absolutely. Thanking everyone again. Can't thank them enough, Dean, Pablo. No. Great job. Um, this way, before we go, big shout out to the staff here at the complex. Uh, hats off to the volunteers and the, IR and, uh, and the IRF workers. There's a lot of them here. And all the referees put in a long couple, you know, long days of referee and racquetball. Um, it's, a, it's a tough gig, 12 hours some days. But you know what, Gary? You know who gets the specialist thanks? Is every one of those players. Everyone that qualified from the juniors to the adults, hats off to you guys. Good point. Swing oh. and a miss. Guillen. So and we're a big Feliciatus to all those gold medal winners. They've all got their medals. You see the smiles, Gary? Priceless. Priceless. Absolutely priceless. And one of these two teams would get the gold, the other the silver. Big setup down the line is Nestor Centeno. And Nestor. 9-2. Bolivia. Good catch. Look at him shoot. Batting practice for Guillen. Not, he didn't need to do behind the back there. He had time to turn and just swat it, but around the world would have been a better shot. 9-2. Back to the ceiling. Set up. Wide angle. See, repeat that. He went right through his legs. Acho was there. Straddle ball. <laughs> wow. That's a new word. It's an old word, actually. Check, a... check the 1972 rule book out. Wow. Oh, nice. Down the line. There's the winners. We're down the line. You know, Guillen Kin, he's trying to cover that right side and the left, and you can't do it. It's too tough with these smart Bolivians here. Tell that to the Jamelos. There's another big setup. Good catch. <laughs> Behind the back, and that skips in. It's 11 2. Cruise control for the Bolivians. Goes <laughs> up top. Oh my. Hit himself. 13. Oh no, 12. I'm sorry. 12 2 on our IRF scoreboard. Timeout, Costa Rica. We'll take a final break here before we finish, hopefully. We will see right here on the International. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No more timeouts for Costa Rica. I doubt you'll see a timeout from Bolivia unless Costa Rica makes a gigantic run. They're behind the eight ball here. It's 12-2. Here comes the setup. There's that reverse, but he left it up. 
Acha's been the one to kill the ball. There it is with a pinch kill. Nestor's killing the ball when he goes down the line. His down the lines are winners probably 95% of the time. And Nestor's, Nestor, I mean, Acha is really making the smartest shots on the whole court out of all four of these guys. Different twist on that one. Pushing half lob to the left side. Set, Set up. up, yep. <laughs> See, repeat that. So what the Costa Rican coaches are using their hands and to, they're, they're using the words like talk because they got confused. They didn't know who's getting the ball. So communication, key in doubles. It may be a little bit late. So two bounces. So 213. Is there a run in the Costa Ricans? Good serve. Good touch of the hand, set up coming off the back wall. Metamoris. Look at that diving get. Acha again. Call the point, that's a skip ball. He, they may appeal. I don't know if they know, that's 13-3. They're gonna appeal. They got nothing to lose, Gary. No, they don't. Call stands. Call stands. 3-13. That's a two bounce get half out right there. Costa Rica, second server. Do they have a run in them, Dean? <laughs> we shall see. I tell you what they don't have, it's a timeout. That's a good serve. Sets up top. This is tough also. Set up off the back wall. That's a point, that's four. Four, 13. Those are really good Z's, but look at that pinch return. Side out. Eye formation, no. Let him play. Set up off the back wall. Skips it right in. Because here's where pressure's gonna climb into the Bolivians. They're worried, folks, they're worried. Good save, set up off the back wall, Guillen. Good reset by Guillen. Oh, he slipped on, I don't know, he just lost his footing. He had that ball, Gary. He did. He was tracking it. When we resume play, folks, after the referee timeout. Bolivia serving for match number one, match point. They won game one 15-6. They have a 14-4 lead here in the capital city of Guatemala. We're about to complete the 32nd edition of the IRF World Juniors, the 33rd edition is likely to be right back here next year. Again, here we go, match point. Who's gonna make the mistake? Guillen against the wall, ceiling ball. Acha pinches it, Metamoris is there. Good side out by the Costa Ricans to hold him off. Can they force a tie break, putting together a run of 11 here? High Z lob. That's gonna be a nice setup for Acho off the back wall. 
but a good save. That's skipped in. They're gonna they're gonna they're feel it anyway. Agreed, Cross. agreed, call stands. Point number five. Now point number four. He called it good. They That's agreed. Short. The call by the head official. Five. I thought it would be five, but the score on the thing didn't change, so it's still uh, listed the as call, The call points. was a legal shot. There was an appeal. Both lines people agreed with the ref's call. Set up. Good pick up. That's a cambio. <laughs> I don't know what words he just said in Spanish, but I don't think it was a good one. So match point number two coming up for the Bolivians. They have two serves. It's 14-4, right to the middle. Guillen goes up top. This is a tough off the back wall. Set up again, Nestor. Wide angle, Guillen is there. Pinches it into the corner. Winner, winner. Bolivia takes the gold. Gary, your thoughts? Costa Rica, unlike yesterday, didn't have a response for this great team. Bolivia, 18 and under doubles team. So Bolivia, another gold. We will have the final premiación here at the Central Deportiva. It's been great working with the two of you as we see the congratulations there behind the exhibition court. Gary, I thank you, Gary, for you're, real. You're welcome. Pleasure, what a pleasure to work with you all week. Um, excellent, you know, uh, we had excellent matches. We had the adults, and it, to be honest, the icing and the cherry on top is the kids here competing, Gary. Uh, young adults in the 18s. Young adults, yes. Kids in the 10s, but um, all around a, a, a fantastic event. Yeah, sporting festival here for two weeks in the capital city. And uh, we're just trying to wait if we're getting word from our producer. I think we're going to do the award ceremony. So there'll be no player interview. We're going to cut the feed. We will cut the feed. Then we will have the awards. I believe the awards are just for the 18s. But Gary, fantastic event. Concludes all play from the 32nd IRF Junior World Racquetball Champions Championships for Alexis Iwasa, for Pablo Farge. Thank you so much for your help. For Gary, thank you. I'm Dean Bear, and for the entire staff here in Guatemala City, Guatemala, we thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. Coming up next is the award ceremony. But ladies and gentlemen, the broadcast team, we're out. Good night, everyone.